Okay, now I am showing you my curls. And, um, okay, I need to take this off so you have a better view of my curls. And I have to say, sometimes when you're not even looking, it just happens. Um, I was in Ghana in May, and I live in Botswana, and I went to Ghana. And as you know, Botswana is very dry, it's very arid, and Ghana is the opposite, it's tropical, it's humid, you know. And... Um, my hair and my skin in Ghana were in hair and skin heaven. And um, as you know, I'm not a gel person. Um, I guess because I use conditioner as a gel here in Botswana because I guess it works well for me that way. And I've never really liked the feeling of gel in my hair. I find it too clammy, then it it, 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 crisp, it leaves your hair crispy and I just don't like that wetness of the gel in my hair however when I went to Ghana because the weather is humid and my hair was in hair heaven it was curly and I can only say wild I had curls galore my ponytails never always ended up looking messy because they were so moisturized from the humidity that I could never have like a very sleek ponytail. My hair would always be either wavy and there'll be little curls that just never could stay down. So what happened was one day I just decided I was going to buy shower gel and I decided I need gel for my hair. This is the climate, Ghana is the climate where I do need gel if I want to have a slick, neater look. So I went to the store and I picked these products up. This is by Salon, Professional Touch Salon Styling Gel. Um, and then I, it, it's for the wet look. And then I also picked up the same brand, Salon um, Curl Extra Hold. Um, and I picked this up from a store called Koala. And then I came across this. The BioCare is by BioCare Labs. And as you know, anything that looks to me like aloe vera gel, I always pick up because I feel that it will have the same effect aloe vera gel has on my hair. The only difference with aloe vera gel, it gives me the curls, but it's very crispy and it, it, my hair dries crispy and dry. So, these are the products that are in my hair. At least what I did, and okay, so, in addition to that, there are, oh, there's like a plethora of hair products in Ghana. And not necessarily the North American products. I'm sure there are stores that sell them, but these are just random brands to me anyway. And I, I was very happy about that. My sister-in-law took me to a street, an area in a place called Jowulu. And she, and it's just, a, just stores that sell hair products and hair stuff. So I just went in there. So when I went in there, I also got... In one of the stores, I saw this by BioCare. Because I was happy with this, I bought that. I bought, the, this is the cream. This is the cream. And it's Dream Curl Cream. And then I got the leave-in conditioner. Okay. I also bought this by... Um, who is this by? Out Design. Oh no, I don't know what they're called. What are they called? Organics Hair. Organics Hair. Well, it says Neck Sheen. And it's, um, I bought it because I thought that would help to keep my curls down, but I never got to use it. Oh, I did use it. I did use it. It's a foam designing and wrap lotion. It, it, it applies really nicely. I did use it, but I'm not sure if I noticed if it. What, what it is, but I like the application. Then I got the Daily Moisturizing Serum by BioCare, Biocare Labs. 
I also came across this. This is UBH as a moisturizer. I noticed this in a different, in most of the pharmacies that I went to had a self-standing display of these products. So I bought the moisturizer just to, I haven't tried it yet, but it's by Ultra Black Hair Products in Denver, Colorado. So I just, it attracted my attention. I like the, the, the bottle. I thought, why not try it? I haven't even opened it. I don't even know what it smells like. And then I also bought Kira Care, the leave-in conditioner, um, simply because I've seen naturals and relaxed hair people who love the Kira Care line. And I've never had access to it, so I figured let me buy the leave-in conditioner. Applies well, but cannot stand the fragrance. I mean, really. The fragrance is, I hate, I don't like it. Uh, I'm not sure what, it says fragrance, parfum, but no particular, I don't like the smell. Anyway, so what's in my hair? I applied this first because my hair in Botswana dries crisp, you know, regardless. But so far with the BioCare products, they keep my hair pretty well moisturized in this dry climate right now. In Ghana, my hair just felt, was happy. I mean, and the thing is, I think girls with curly hair probably don't like this. I realized that my hair was too curly, if there's such. And so I couldn't, it almost made me look like a wild woman. You know, I, I, I couldn't get my hair to be slick. Now my hair was curly, I wanted it sleek and slick down and I couldn't achieve that look to the core half I mean I would get my hair down flat and maybe the side slick down and before you know it I had little curly things sticking up and so so I mean I think that is a curly girl hair problem that I'm sure now people's curls have been popping you find out that they're, they're styles that you can't really do well or you probably need lots of gel or you you know and i had a lot of waves so my ponytails always were very wavy which is nice but i realized that for me to have a straight ponytail my hair has to be dry and combed out straight and then and then that's a whole different look but anyway so basically i wish i could have bought more products but products weigh a lot and they make your luggage heavy and the minimum weight is like 2.3 kgs for one piece so if you and your maximum was two pieces and i know from when i visit my sister in the states half my weight i'm always overweight because of the hair products but i was so happy to be able to find these products it's random i wasn't going with that intention i knew i would buy hair products if i came if i was in the in the vicinity of where they were or if i was in a store but I'm so happy with these because they're working well in this climate. All I know is that um, this climate dries it. The, the BioCare products do manage to keep it soft and moisturized. Um, I find that what happens is like when I, this application in tomorrow morning, when I'm running my hands through it, there'll be a few snags, but that's about it. But I, I really like... Um, the way my hair is just loving these products. And um, I think the change in climate has also helped it. So it's kind of, you know, still benefiting from that. And I think these products are, these products, and I think that some of these products are just designed for our climate, you know, with us in mind. You know, they're not necessary. Because my sister did buy me the, cream of nature argan oil line i asked her to bring that for me she, to ghana i can't say that um, i didn't didn't do anything for my hair i i will do a review on those i will do an application video and stuff like that but i used them until i found these products in in ghana and um I just came across them when I was come to do this video and I thought, wow, it's not made for my hair. But these just are working. These are working for my hair. And me, who doesn't really like gel, now I'm going to have to start looking for this brand. If I hope, by God's grace, 
the biocare labs are somewhere <laughs> lurking in the corners of this country because really I'm happy with them and, and, and the line is so wide I mean you have the leave-in you have the moisturizing serum you know I'm a serum girl so I was like hallelujah then they have the curl defining custard which is like a jelly you know aloe vera -y thing um, and you know some of the ingredients are fascinating to me because I've always thought corn syrup because it's like a starch and it sort of looks like this when when you wet it I've always thought it would have a positive effect on my hair but I've never really experimented with it that much and it's in here there's glycerin the corn syrup I don't really like glycerin but I think sometimes that should not scare me this corn syrup there's honey of course there's um, shea butter um, you know sweet almond oil um, xanthan gum you see xanthan gum something that I can't get here I always felt that that would work for my hair if I could get that so you know I find that the, 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 the ingredients are sort of old schoolish you know and I like that in a sense because I feel sometimes we, we get we some of the other product lines are so bent on um, trying to be so organic and so you know maybe high-tech that they lose the the, 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 the few good products, old products that work. You know, glycerin's in there. I don't like glycerin, but it works. It's working for me in this composition. Um, so I just came to say, just came to show you my curls. And I've, and this is, not, I've, my hair has, I applied this earlier in the morning. It's still wet in some parts. Feels good to the touch. My hair feels nice. You know, I'm, I, I got so used not to touch, using gloves and not touching my hair that, and, and bec I do that a lot because I really didn't like the products on my hand, which I still do, but I also didn't like the feel of my hair. It never felt nice in this climate. And I'm realizing as I'm touching, my hair feels great. I cannot complain. It feels so moisturized and, um, you know, I mean, really, cannot complain. A little too much product on my hand, but I mean... It's nothing that um so I just now have to figure out how to one side of my hair is thicker than the other and no matter what I do this side will always get poofy thicker I don't care how much what I do some people most people say they have like 3a 4a 5b c all that different parts of hair I think one side of my hair is is one texture and the other side is another texture. So this is a silky long side. And this is the thick, coarser side. The middle is usually the thickest, but this side is the thicker side. And even if I parted my hair in, in the middle, this will still be the poofy side. And it's the same length. They're the same length. And what I'm liking about this product is, I, as the day has gone, I just keep pulling my hair down. And it's still... It doesn't make my my curls frizzy you know I'm, I'm really liking these products really I'm like what I'm liking is the fact that they are working in this climate because usually all the products I bring back don't work the same way here and as you can see I'm still pulling it out and my curls are still defined so I mean all in all the bio care line and the salon um, professional touch salon not bad. I mean, this is like no fancy packaging. It's your typical, I always think it's your typical African um, kind of packaging. We like these colors. I think West Africa, bright, the bright colors. And, you know, we tend to like those pomade looking things. And um, it works. And the, the, I think also why I like these products is that there is no fragrance. This doesn't smell like anything. It just smells like a the subtle smell, smell smell of a product, a hair product, of like a I don't know, like maybe a shampoo, but it's so faint, pleasant. I didn't even notice that they have a fragrance. You know, so I like subtle fragrances. I don't want to walk around with something that makes my hair feel.
this is whew, I mean there is no fragrance but it is a fragrance I don't know what it is but it's it's not there I mean it's it's, it's just something and then let me see this one it just not smells like maybe a cold cream I'm glad you know I think this is the way to go you know sometimes we over fragrance um, product No, it just smells like a hair product, like a, a tresemme, but a tresemme is a little stronger in terms of fragrance. But they do well with fragrances. This is, I mean, none of these products. Oh, this is awful. This Kira Care, the smell. Oh, Jesus, I don't know what that is. But application was great on this side of my hair. Application not too bad on this side. But I, I like the application. It is easy application. But the, the fragrance. But it doesn't stay forever. But ugh, it doesn't smell nice. Anyway, so I will come back to show you how my hair dried completely. And um, chat later. Okay, this is my hair. It's almost 100% dry. The back is still, but it's thick and poofy. But this is it. This is it. Um, it probably looks good to you guys, but to me, it's still got all the curls, but it, it's lost this luster. You know, um, I think that has a lot to do with the moisture in the air. There isn't any, so this is, um, I just need to find a way to do my hair that in a way that I like it, so that when it dries, I like the style that it dries in. Like, maybe I need to keep it down. As you know, I'm not somebody who leaves my hair out, so... This is it. I think it looks good. I mean, can't complain. Feels soft, feels moisturized. Um, and it's winter here. So, okay, so today, this is day two. I mean, yeah, day two. And all I did was refreshed it with this product, which I will do a review about. It's Cable. Just for kids, um, strengthening conditioner. Okay, um, I started using the kids' um, products because I figure, why not? It's gentle on the hair. I assume, although I may be wrong. So this is the cable on top of all the bio care and um, the two little gels, and I can see. It's faring very well. My I've never had curls like this. Never, 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 never. So, just as I said, I have to find a way to wear my hair in a way I like it because obviously this is not really me, but it's okay. Got all the curls in Africa on my head. <laughs> so, until my next video, take care.